Yeah! Welcome back to Lingo Kids Crafts. Today, we are going to draw a beautiful part of a plant. It comes in different shapes. It is normally green. You can find it on trees or on the ground. It changes colors depending on the seasons. You might see them blowing around on windy days. Can you guess what it is? That's right! Today, we will be drawing a leaf. So grab your pencil and a sheet of paper and let's get started. Let's begin by drawing the lines inside our leaf. First, draw two vertical curved lines right next to each other. Then, connect the top and bottom of both lines with a small rounded curve. The bottom part will be the stem of our leaf. Do you remember what a stem is? A stem stores food and helps the plant grow and stay healthy. Now, in the middle of the two vertical lines, draw two other curves right next to each other. But this time, make them both horizontal. That means they should be lines pointing sideways. Again, don't forget to connect the top and bottom of both lines to each other with a small rounded curve. Your second set of lines should look like a smile. Great job, everybody! Have you ever wondered why leaves fall off trees? Well, when the weather starts getting cold, some trees push the leaves off their branches to survive the cold weather. Trees that shed their leaves during the colder seasons are called deciduous trees. Trees that keep their leaves all year round are called evergreen trees. Our lines will guide us to draw the rest of our leaf. Right above the bottom point of your stem, to the left, start by drawing a half oval going upwards with a pointy edge that goes around the left-hand point of your horizontal line. Now, do the same by drawing another half oval around the top point of your vertical line. Finally, draw one last half oval around the right points of your horizontal line. Did you know that leaves change their color according to the seasons because they are hungry? Leaves produce most of the food for trees to stand tall and strong. That's because when it's sunny, leaves take in the sunlight and turn the sunlight into food for the trees. And so, when the cold weather arrives, since there is not enough sunlight, the leaves cannot make food and lose their green color, making them turn red, yellow, brown, or orange. Now it's time to add some color and make our leaf come to life. You can follow our suggestions or choose your own colors. It's up to you. For our leaf, we will be using dark orange and orange. If our leaf is orange, then this means the cold weather has yeah. arrived. Take your dark orange crayon to color the stems of your leaf. That looks great! And last, but not least, use the orange crayon to color inside the leaf and around the stems. Well done, everyone! Your leaf is ready to dance in the wind! Parents, your child has done an amazing job! We'd love it if you'd share their artwork with us on social media for a chance to be featured on our channels! There's nothing better than seeing the art made by our Lingo Kids families around the world. Just tag us! More songs, activities, and podcasts on our YouTube channels. And the full interactive adventure in the Lingo Kids app.